I'm Alex Cranmer. I'm Vice President of International Military Antiques, and we're the largest retailer of vintage military antiques and collectibles in the world. The business was started about 50 years ago by my dad in a garage, uh, overseas actually, and he started in the United States in 1981. At first it was just a mail order company, and I joined the uh, company 11 years ago in 2004 and brought it online. That changed everything. Almost overnight, our revenue doubled, and today we are about well, about a thousand percent bigger than we were a decade ago and we've grown 300 percent in the past five years. I am the only one working on the website, working on the online sales channels and 99 percent of our sales are through online sales marketplaces. One of the things that makes us unique is our inventory. Our inventory ranges in date from about 1580 to 1945. We tend not to go after World War II and we sell anything that would be issued to a soldier. So that could have been a uniform, a helmet, uh, his rifle, uh, could be a machine gun, could be a Jeep, uh, and really everything in between. Our smallest item is a Brown Bess musket ball. It's about the size of a marble from about 1770. It weighs an ounce and it costs $2. And our largest item at the moment is an amphibious World War II Jeep. Weighs a ton and costs a quarter million dollars. I'm an e-commerce geek. I really like looking at numbers that revolve around selling things online because data doesn't lie and it's all there. We know so many things about our shoppers. We know what they do on our website. We know what sells, what doesn't. Uh, the challenge is to find out why. So my interest in this business, yes, I love the old stuff and it's really cool and I'm lucky to be able to come to work around it every day, but my drive here is e-commerce. We started with our first website in 2004. It was an open source solution. We had a virtual private server. Um, we didn't need many resources because our traffic was maybe a couple thousand people a month. As our business started to get more notoriety with supplying Hollywood films like Saving Private Ryan, Band of Brothers, The Fury, um, we got more and more traffic. Today we're averaging about 150,000 unique visitors a month. In holiday, we peak around 300,000 with 20,000 users a day. I found Rackspace because of Magento. I decided to move to Magento in 2010. Magento was not uh, a small solution. <laughs> it requires some real resources. And in 2010, to my knowledge, the only people who really knew how to host it were Rackspace. And so it was a pretty simple decision because I didn't think I had many others. Now, I've stayed with Rackspace for five years, not because they're the only ones who know how to host for Magento, there are a slew of those now, but they're the best at doing it and they have the best service. So as our company grew and we scaled and we had more and more and more visitors, we also decided to use a responsive website, mobile responsive, which also requires more um, power <laughs> to run fast and to render properly on all devices. And we decided to stay at Rackspace and you know, when we had our reality television show, the very first night, um, I had my laptop in one hand and my TV controller in the other. And as the show came on and the website URL came up, I went right to the website and said, is it freezing, is it freezing? And it didn't. And we did it on Magento with what I was told would be impossible. Two servers, one app and one database. The biggest that Rackspace would sell us, by the way. But we also had some software solutions. We did something different with um, MySQL. We did something different with caching. And the combination of the big servers and the software solution allowed us to have 18,000 concurrent users at one time on Magento with basically two servers. I wouldn't be able to do this if I didn't have a company like Rackspace behind me with managed services because I know nothing about hosting. I don't want my own servers. I don't want to know anything about it. I just want the experts to handle it. If I have a problem or I have a need, I want to submit a ticket and get it handled. And that's what Rackspace allows me to do. If I can give them a first class e-commerce experience, 
my chances of getting a sale greatly improve. And Rackspace allows me to do that. That was wicked. Yeah, there's this thing at Rackspace called fanatical support, which makes me laugh because, I, you know, you think about, like, guys running around the office throwing things and shouting. If I have to call my wife and tell her I got to stay here late. I'm going to sit down and work on the news. Uh, but, you know, it, it actually is, it's, it's true. I, 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 I can't remember the time I've submitted a ticket for whatever reason, and it hasn't been answered in minutes. I mean, in minutes. And usually it's like, oh, we need more information. And so then it's, <laughs> I have to look it up and supply it. Um, I think that's really what separates Rackspace from any other hosting provider I've ever worked with. It's, it is fanatical support. It's a bizarre term for it, but it's true. I would recommend Rackspace to anyone operating an e-commerce website anywhere in the world.